in our discussion from class, we looked at ways to represent qualitative data. The examples we looked at were from an Excel file that we took as part of the class survey. If you remember, the data that we have is in the file for Math 1332 in D2L. If you go to the Content tab, then the PowerPoints and Notes for Day 3 that's updated, if you look for the Excel file, you'll see copy of class survey data from a previous course, but I've included the data for our class in this file as well. If you click on that file, you must download the file, and we're going to go ahead and open it with Excel. We can save it later. Again, if you have the yellow bar across the top of the file, be sure to click Enable Editing so that you can work with data from the file. The first example we did was ethnicity. And the data that we had for question 12 about ethnicity uh, was, not in, was not organized in any way. So what we did was we selected column A and did a sort a to Z so that we could see um, wh ha how many of each ethnic group there were. On your question, the first group was African American. If you count those, you can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six participants who were African American. So we put six for African American. I'm going to go ahead and expand uh, column E so that you can see the entire name African American, the entire ethnic group African American. The second group was Hispanic. That was from the list that was for uh, question 12. Hispanic, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 participants whose ethnicity was Hispanic. Our next group was white, non-Hispanic. And I'll reset the width of the column. Now you'll notice in our data that the data showed up as white, but not white non-Hispanic. However, there, if we count those, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 participants who selected white non-Hispanic as their ethnicity. Uh, Asian was the next category, and if you look through the data, you'll see that there was one student who selected Asian as their ethnicity. Uh, we also had Pacific Islander, and let's see if we have any that were, okay, there in our list, you don't see any that are Pacific Islander, so we have to put a zero there. And then the last one was Native American. And you can see that we have one in the list. We have one participant who selected Native American. So once we've made a tally, so this is the category or the ethnicity, And this is what the tally or frequency. And let me reset the width of that column. We can see how many of how many participants selected each of the categories. 
Now, once we have this table of values that we refer to as a frequency, distribution, we can create a graphical display. In this case, since this is qualitative data, then our choices are either a bar graph or a pie chart. I believe the first one we did together in class was a bar graph. So you have to select all of the data from the table. I'm including the labels, ethnicity and frequency. And once you've shaded that, selected that entire area, you can go up to insert and then go over to the icon that looks like a, a bar graph. It calls it a column chart, but we can do a bar graph. And when we do that, you'll see that we have um, the various ethnicities. Uh, African American, you can see there are six, and then eight for Hispanic, ten for white non-Hispanic, one, it's between zero and two, so it's one, zero Pacific Islander, and one Native American. Now, if we want to actually add titles, we can go to the plus and do axes titles. Uh, this axis title actually is frequency. And this axis title should be ethnicity. And the table, the name for our graph should be ethnicity from class survey. And I'm going to go ahead and close this window about formatting the title. So there's our bar graph. We can go back to insert and this time do a pie chart and you can see I'm just going to go through and do data labels but with the data labels I'm going to do some more options and include a percentage And a category name. Now when you see that you realize that all the names and things are very uh, close together here. Let's see if we can move some of the boxes out of the way. Native American is there. Asian, I'm just going to move over a little bit to the side so that we have uh, all of the information and you have them as percentages. So what we have here is another part of the chart that we could refer to as relative frequency. And you can either do them as a percent. The African American is 23%. Hispanic is 8%. White non-Hispanic is 10%. Asian is 4%, Pacific Islander is 0%, and Native American is 4%. So we've completed both a bar graph and a pie chart for this qualitative data.